it is currently move-in day so i am moving out of this apartment and moving into my new apartment come here you want to say hi it's super bittersweet because it's just crazy that i'm finally about to start the journey that i've been wanting to start there's so much stuff that we have to move so many stairs we have to walk and i am not ready as you guys can see in the background there's hella boxes I'm gonna show you guys all the boxes that we have to take out. But first, I'm gonna start off in Prince's room. We have all of this stuff we have to take. Ugh, it's so much stuff. All of those boxes. Gotta take the stuff that's in his closets. And then, you got a tripod? Yeah. Wow. And then in my room, it's all these boxes and my bed and then we gotta grab my makeup desk all this shit in here i have way too much stuff for it just to be two people and then i have all these boxes over here princess playset this hamper all of these boxes all of this so we have a lot of work to do and my couch and there's eddie <laughs> But yeah, my car is already packed full of like little stuff that's like open and just stuff that we could fit in my car. Yeah, it's super bittersweet. I didn't think I would feel like this today. It's super bittersweet just because like, you know, my roommate, ex, whatever you want to call him, helped a lot with prints. You gotta go potty? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. He helped a lot with prints and it's just hard to come to terms with the fact that it's really over. We're super excited though. I just like have no energy because today is gonna be so much work. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready either. I'm not ready. And because I'm, I'm moving away ready. from a big city that I, it took a lot for me to actually like step out of my comfort zone and come here and just like, it's a really bittersweet feeling leaving cause I'm like, I left my hometown to come here. through so much stuff so much like unbearable things and like things that make you want to get out of certain situations um and then like once you do have the opportunity to it's like once you finally have the opportunity to leave and you are leaving it's like wait what was the bad part again like it's just so annoying <laughs> and i just made so many memories in my charlotte apartment I had so much fun living in Charlotte, but at the same time, I didn't really like go out. I didn't really do much. Um, so all I really know was Blue Olive and you know the person that I lived with. And I think it's just so weird, like how emotional I am about the whole thing because I've literally been counting down for today. And now that it's like happening, it's almost like I can't even be happy. I don't know why, because I'm so excited to start this new journey. I think it's just knowing now that I'm literally going to be doing this alone. Um, like living alone. I've never lived alone before. And like before I lived with my sisters or I've had a roommate like in college or 
and before that I shared a room like with my sister and when I lived at home with my parents and other than that I lived with his dad and my ex now so it's just like I've never actually had to live alone before and I know how I am and I know how lonely I get and I know that's exactly why I started dating my ex anyways is because I get so lonely and I just get so in my head and like I think it would be so much better if it wasn't just me and it was someone else with me you know so I don't know it's just like so emotional for me and I've just been having like a little pep talk with myself the whole ride down here just like going over everything that I asked for when I was in Charlotte and like I knew that leaving Charlotte was gonna hurt because it took a lot for me to like go out of my comfort zone and move to a big city but and like knowing everything that I accomplished in Charlotte just makes me so happy and to like leave it it kind of feels like I'm leaving like my success behind kind of I don't know why I guess it's just because it's a big city but I know there's so much more to come there's so many good things that are going to come out of this new journey and I'm just like so grateful to all the help that I've gotten throughout this move like nobody's entitled to come help me move and I have so much stuff like a ridiculous amount of stuff for it to just be me and Prince and I'm just like so appreciative and I'm so appreciative for my ex always helping me with Prince and just being there for me emotionally I know it's gonna be hard like dealing with a lot certain emotions on my own like certain stuff with social media like even though we weren't together I'd still vent to him and he'd give me advice or he'd just like tell me something to like you know get my mind off of what I was like stressing about like he knew how to calm me down and I know that like living on my own is just gonna be a completely different ball game even though I lived on my own for a little bit before I lived with my ex like and before I lived with my sisters so basically whenever I left Prince's dad my sisters moved in with me because I at the time I couldn't afford to pay the whole rent by myself and so it's like I've always had people there with me and I just get so aggravated and so irritated when there's like a whole bunch of people near me anyways like when I don't have my own space so now the fact that I'm gonna have my own space is like crazy to me like I'm so happy um I'm just like a very paranoid person so that's like the only part I don't like about having to live alone is like I'm very paranoid and I don't like I don't trust anyone so I just feel like I'm gonna have to watch my back like times a million <sighs> it's just seriously so emotional for me and I don't know why but I'm so tired of making this drive like back and forth from Charlotte it's just like literally bittersweet that's the only word I have for it and then like I don't know just leaving like the little apartment like was just so hard because I'm like cows baby because yeah you see there's some horses right here just because like I accomplished so much like I pushed myself to lengths I didn't even know I could go I pushed myself to lengths that I didn't even know that I could reach and I went through so much in that apartment <laughs> You know, like, sometimes it's just really sad leaving memories behind, leaving certain people behind just because of, you know, reasons that I'm not going to talk about, but I'm so excited for this freaking journey. I am not excited to bring all of this other stuff into my new apartment, though. I have about, like, 40 hours, 40 hours, 40 minutes left. Yeah, baby, I see guys we just got to my new apartment so not showing you my door the living room the balcony's over there over here it's my dad prince um the kitchen this is <laughs> this is 
laundry room, the valet trash. That's a little ass trash can. Washer dryer, prints, <laughs> my refrigerator. Empty as fuck. They got ice for me already. Thank you so much. My cabinets. The sink. This is where I'll be making my coffee videos. This is Prince's room. His closet is way smaller than the last one. This is whatever the hell that is. Prince's bathroom. Hey. This is my closet, y'all. Look at that fucking closet, period. My room. My bathroom. And that is it. Here's a little intermission of moving in. It's literally pouring down right now, which kind of feels good, but I still have to move all this shit in here, so we're going to be moving it in in the rain. And it is pouring rain. I'm so tired. Let's go. Y'all, I gotta try this big truck. I'm so scared. Oh my god, I'm so terrified. And I have to stop and get gas in this truck. Is it on? Okay. I'm so scared. Does this seatbelt even work? The check engine light is on in this truck. I am terrified. Okay, let me put in the directions. What is up you guys? So it is currently Wednesday, May 25th and I have some of the apartment set up. I'm gonna show you guys what some of it looks like. It's not, it's, not, it's a mess right now, okay? So I'm gonna just show you guys a little tour of this mess. Nothing is really like set in stone yet, so yeah. So this is my living room. I have a whole bunch of boxes that I have to take out. Prince is playing with his toys. I still don't have a TV stand so I have to put all that stuff up. Um, don't nobody want your toys? Yeah. Got some more boxes right here. This is Prince's room. Super cute, kind of a hot mess. Y'all know how that goes with kids. And then this is his bathroom. It's not set in stone yet either. It's all just a crazy freaking mess right now. And then, hold on, let me turn my music off. So, this is what I have so far for my closet. Um, I just have, like, my bags. This is an old Hooters mag or calendar, so it's not going to be, like, the correct days or whatever. But um, over here, I just have, like, some jewelry open. Um, these are some lashes I was sent, a little body spray. Um, just all my clothes, some boxes, a purse. I have more shoes up here, and then, um, somebody sent me this blanket, but it already, it literally matches my bed set, so I just put it over here on the floor, and this is what it looks like from out here. I think it's super cute, super girly, um, and then my room is a hot freaking mess, like, look at all this stuff everywhere. I got boxes, bags of clothes, bags of makeup, my Playboy bunny pillows came in. Not the ambulance. My bed isn't is literally on the floor because I don't know how to put that back together. And then my bathroom is also very much a hot freaking mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my bathroom and room done today because I'm so tired. Because I'm so tired of looking at all this stuff and looking at how messy it is. I literally don't have anything put together yet at all. It's very much a hot mess. So I'm gonna do some time lapses. Um just so I don't have to like stop and keep talking to the camera because I will get distracted. And hopefully we can get this done tonight. It's literally, let me see what time it is. It's currently 7.34. So hopefully we can get this thing done. Like I said a million times, this is not how it's going to stay. This is just for right now to get all my stuff out of the way and organized. So it feels like I'm actually in my own space. You know what I'm saying? So let's go.
Okay, you guys, so it is currently Friday. This is the day that I'm editing. So, oh, hi guys, you guys are seeing me on the day that this is going to upload. You guys already see my closet. I'm just gonna show you the bathroom and my room. Like I said, it's not final at all. If you guys have any tips or recommendations for what I should do for my room or bathroom, just let me know. But I'm gonna show you guys what I have thus far. Okay, starting off in the bathroom. Don't mind my clothes over there, y'all. Um, I have these two cute little things. This one says, kind, beautiful soul. And then they just have Q-tips in one and cotton rounds in the other one. I got some hand soap. I had this alarm clock on and it looked super cute, but it literally started going off at two o'clock in the morning and I did not know how to shut it off, so I just unplugged it. <laughs> I have my little face scrubber, a little um, wax warmer. Over here I got my towel, my shower curtain. This is supposed to be pink, but it's not really that pink. Um, and then I just have like some little, you know, bathroom necessities, a little scale moment. I'm gonna be getting pink rugs or black rugs. You guys let me know which one sh I should get for my bathroom because I don't wanna keep the gray rugs. They remind me of my old apartment. And then this is my room. Okay, sword. You know, I got my bed set. All of my stuff um, that is in my room that's from Amazon is linked to my storefront. I got these Playboy Bunny pillows from Zebra Bunny on Depop. She literally has so many cute fucking pillows. Like, oh my gosh, so many cute stuff. Then this um, lamp is super cute. <laughs> this lamp was sent to me from iLuxable on Amazon. This is my little makeup desk for right now. And I wanna get a rug, but since that one's pink, I'm wondering if I should get another pink one in here or if I should get a black one, cause I don't really wanna like ruin the vibe, but at the same time, I kinda want pink everything. So let me know. And then over here, I have my little cart thing with like body sprays, lotions, um, I have like a whole bunch of Ipsy bags, the little graduation cards you guys sent me, I love looking at those, and then up here I just have like all my perfumes and stuff, shout out to Dossier, I love Dossier, you guys have to go check them out, but um, and then this picture was in my bathroom, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this picture yet, don't mind this shirt, a little wax warmer, <gasps> You made happy plate? Yeah. Good job. Uh-huh. I'm actually trying to get rid of, there was like a whole bunch more of these pictures. I don't know where they're at, but I was actually trying to get rid of them. But it looks like some of them didn't even make the move. I don't know where they went. So there's that. And then I need to get like another dress or something. This is more clothes that like will not fit in here. And that's already full, so I don't really know. But somebody told me I should put the dresser in there. I was thinking like if I did put the dresser in there, it would be over there. But my closet would be smaller so that the room could be more open. And someone told me to center my bed. So that is my room for right now. Also, I apologize for the blurry time lapses. I did not realize that my camera wasn't in focus. I was super annoyed. I didn't even want to upload it, but I know you guys want to see it. And you can kind of see, you know, what I was doing when I was putting away and stuff. So... Yeah, I also have LED lights that I need to put around my room, which will change like everything. But the only problem is my step stool does not, I can't reach all the way up there. So I have to wait for my tall ass sister to come and help me. But yeah, let me know um, any recommendations you guys have or anything like that. Um, my living room, let me show you guys the living room. So my mom said she's gonna take all that stuff for me. She's gonna take all that stuff and TV broke in the process. So I'm gonna have to buy a new TV. My hairdresser wants to buy that for me because I don't do makeup anymore. I have this old TV, but I don't know like where any of the remotes are, Prince's stuff, because we have like no storage. Um, and then I have those two lamps. I feel like I need to get like cute night tables or something, side tables to go next to it. <laughs> It's just a whole hot mess, girl. It's like really stressing me out. I really feel so, I just feel so unorganized, so out of whack. I like want everything to be perfect and it's like nowhere near perfect. My bed still isn't up, so I don't know. Your girl is stressed to freak out. And watching back the footage of whenever I moved, like it's just so emotional because moving day was so emotional <laughs> for me. Bobby. What are you doing? <laughs> if you got peanut butter on your hands, don't touch. Dude, don't touch. You got peanut butter. Go wash your hands. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys made it all the way to the end. If you did, thank you so very much. There you go. Y'all, Prince is crying because he was trying to eat peanut butter on my bed. And I said, no, ma'am, no, sir. Anyways, um, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so freaking much for the love and support on TikTok. Like, ever since I hit a million, like, I have had... 
have had unconditional love and support on there like crazy so i seriously appreciate that thank you guys so much i will start to try to be more active on instagram yeah girls trying but thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end i will see you guys in my next video don't forget i upload two times a week sometimes it's one but it's never gonna be none girl this week it was one but anyways i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time Mwah.